Greetings and salutations. Welcome to another episode of 365 Days of Gaming. I really appreciate you taking our time to check out this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Greatly appreciate it, so thank you in advance. So, we're talking about an entry into one of my favorite PS2 Air series, which is the Onimusha series, but not one of the ones you may be thinking of. This is one of my personal favorites, but not the favorites of some. This is the Onimusha Blade Warriors for PlayStation 2. All right, so let me give you a brief description of Onimusha Blade Warriors and why you probably have never heard of it, but you know, why I think it's fantastic. First and foremost, this is like one of the earliest attempts of making like a platform fighter that was not Super Smash Brothers. I don't know why they decided to do this, but I am very grateful that they did because I really enjoy this game. And I think you would too, if you don't let other people influence your decisions about what you like. Now, Granted, this is not a traditional Onimusha, so I understand the Onimusha fans not being as excited as they should before they play this game, right? But first and foremost, this came out during a time where me and my friends were very heavy on four player games. We got things like X-Men Legends, Champions of Norav. So the ability to play an Onimusha game with all of, you know, at least me, Steven and Ronnie, which was the main crew at the time. But we always had a fourth to somebody. So we knew we could have four players in this game. Didn't happen often, but we still had fun with it. Um, but there are things about this game that people didn't enjoy, and that's okay. Like you having to uh, press R1 and up to switch platforms. But I liked it because it did things like bring two Onimusha games into the same universe. So um, I'm playing Jubei because Jubei is the best version of a samurai in Onimusha. But, you know, Jubei gets to run across uh, Samanosuke and they get to have a whole back and forth. Their side characters get to meet up with each other and have conversations and see their similarities and things like that. You also get to play as demons, which I thought was very crazy because uh, one of my favorite characters in this game is Marcellus. Once you get Marcellus with the uh, blades for hands. Oh, because the other thing is you get different weapons and abilities in this game. Yeah, you can actually upgrade the characters from the series or all the playable characters, including the demons. And they get different moves. There's a bunch of secret characters that you can unlock. There's actually Mega Man and Zero in this game. Like, there's a lot of things to really enjoy about this. Again, you should just play this game and not think about, you know, the fact that it's not a traditional Onimusha. The game's got items. It's got all kind of crazy stuff. You can battle to, you know, suck the souls in so that you can use your special moves. Like, it's just fun. Very fun game. You don't need to think a lot about it. And four player action like what what are we talking about it's, it's it's got a story mode for each of the characters you got you know different uh versions of uh the multiplayer you can do where one you can do obviously you can do you know free for all but you can do 1v3 2v2 um you can also do it based on number of kills or you can do stock battles so you know it was a uh, very cool and i really enjoyed this game and you know i always didn't appreciate the hate this guy we also got this game for like 15 dollars from blockbuster because again blockbuster used to sell games so this was on their shelf for uh not very much so again you know it was just a bunch of wins all around you know not not spending too much money and believe me being able to get a game for 15 dollars back in the day meant meant a lot um so i always liked this game and i understand why some people didn't like it but i'm telling you if you are only musha fan you should definitely give it a shot and if you know about this game and you understand what I'm talking about and why am I, I'm excited about this game, please regale us with tales of four player action or even two player or just you playing it by yourself through the story mode. Who was your favorite character? You know, what uh, what version or weapons did you like when they got that they unlocked different stuff? And, you know, just let's let's celebrate only Musha Blade Warriors because I think it's worthy of that. And, you know, this is why we're doing this series. Either way, I appreciate you, you know, taking out time to let me reminisce with you. Y'all have fun. Y'all be safe. Peace.